smart drugs. Is there a limitless pill out there? A, a brain drug? Something that makes you smarter, sharper, more focused? I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen it. You probably have and you probably noticed the reference from the thumbnail to this video. But Bradley Cooper starred in a movie called Limitless where there's this pill that you can take called NZT48 that somehow unlocks all of your brain's potential. What's in it? They've identified these receptors in the brain that activate specific circuits. And you know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? Well, what this does, it lets you access all of it. So the movie claims that we only use about 10% of your actual potential, at least your brain's potential. And by taking this pill, you unlock all of its hidden potential, and then suddenly you become a super genius and you become super wealthy. At least that's the way the movie's portrayed. But this is 2017. Don't you think by now we would have come up with some pill or some sort of smart drug or some sort of mental cognitive enhancer? Well, uh, in this video, we're actually going to be taking a look at uh, what's been discovered, what's on the market, and what you can get today. I mean, no doubt people are worried, okay, is there some sort of drug out there that entrepreneurs are using, people out in Silicon Valley? And the answer is yes, they're absolutely taking substances. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what all they might be taking, uh, some things that I've been taking uh, and have some personal experience with, as well as what are some of the myths out there? You know, what, like, what really uh, do smart drugs and neurotropics have the ability to do? I'm going to tell you guys all about the kinds of drugs that I've been taking, what sort of effects they've had on me. I'll also put a link to all of them in the description below so you can check them out and see for yourself. Does it work? <laughs> You're going to find out. So it turns out there's tons of options of smart drugs and brain drugs available on the market today, ranging from all different prices, but it's like going shopping for cheese, and you ask your friend, what is the best kind of cheese on the market? Well, you're going to have different people with different preferences, and you run through and you see all these different types of cheese, and you're like, well, you know what? It might be better if we just don't buy any cheese at all, because there's just so much cheese. So hopefully, I'm able to make some simplifications here for some of you guys that are trying to sift through all the data that's out there. Now, I am not a scientist or a doctor by any means. Or am I? All I am is a 25 year old who just likes to get things done and likes to do some pretty rad shit. So I'm not gonna pretend to know all the ingredients. I'm not gonna pretend to know how it all affects the brain. I mean, there's a good quote that was uh, said by a wise man. Uh, you don't need to know how electricity works to enjoy the benefits of it. Hence, case in point. Case in point. Hua bang. So with that being said, I just wanted to point out I've been taking some smart drugs and uh, well, the results have been quite uh, positive to say the least. And it turns out I'm not the only one of my friends. When I actually started talking to people about it, I was actually surprised to see that other people were taking different substances. And we're not talking about Adderall and caffeine and Vyvanse and other stuff that can harm your liver. I'm, I'm just talking about some simple stuff that you might not even know about. So some of the claims that have been cited from these drugs, and I mean scientific studies to actually prove that they work, you've got things like improvement to memory, focus, mental energy, and even just improving your overall mood. Sounds too good to be true. It kind of is and it kind of isn't because there actually have been cited studies to show that there is more blood flow to the brain, that you have more receptors in your brain that are being utilized, that you can actually improve the amount of brain cells that you create. And there are some people that will get added benefits from some of the drugs because they actually have brain deficient disorders. Uh, hopefully that's the medical term for it. But certain parts of their brains aren't functioning correctly so they take a drug like, for example, the people who take Adderall, who are actually prescribed it because they actually have ADHD or some sort of actual disability, they see long-term results for it versus the average college student who takes it and then they build a tolerance to it and suddenly they are back to normal and they don't improve at all really in their grade. So there is one big thing that I do want to address and that is that claim of the 10% of your brain. You're only using 10% of it. I know that sounds great. And we'd love to believe that we're not really using our brain that much, but unless you're actually like sleeping, you actually do use most of your brain power, at least close to 100% of it. Uh, and it turns out that it was just totally misquoted from Einstein back in the like 1800s. So there's no scientific data to actually back up the myth saying that we only use 10% of our brain. That's just not true. The real truth is if you want to improve your brain power, you need to actually use it more often so that it grows similar to like a muscle, for instance. Huh, wow. Smash. 
So, but what are the actual chemicals? It, this just doesn't sound like it's healthy for you, right? As you might believe. Well, actually it is much healthier than things like Adderall and even caffeine, for instance. Those really aren't even smart drugs. They're stimulants. That's really what they are. They're classified as stimulants. The smart drugs that we're talking about in this video aren't stimulants. They're not. They're not classified as stimulants. They are classified as smart drugs or neurotropics. Brain drugs. And if you need to be prescribed it, that's kind of risky territory. So I don't want to really tell anybody to take a prescription drug or try to order it online when you don't actually have the medical condition to get it. So I would stay away from that. I would look more for the stuff that's publicly available, that's been tried, tested, proven, reviewed, that sort of thing. That's what you want to look for. So when I went looking for a smart drug, I had one goal in mind, and that is what could I find on the market that was cheaper than what I was paying for a cup of coffee per day and provide me with all sorts of neuro benefits such as improvement to memory, decision making ability, uh, to mood, to just uh, taking on tasks and be more productive. What could I find and could I find something that was cheaper than my daily cup of coffee? Which was about a dollar a day. Okay, so enough about all that stuff. Let's just talk about what have I been taking. So the first one that I have been taking is this one. I've been taking it for about uh, two months now and uh, I'm actually very impressed. It's called, was it, NeuroIgnite? The big thing that really stuck out to me was the amount of reviews that this one had. So I knew that I had some reliable feedback from other people as to whether or not it worked. And to be honest, four and a half stars means that basically nine out of 10 people thought that it was useful, or at least it was worth the price that they were paying for or were satisfied with it. And so I said, okay, well, if there's a 90% chance, what's my real risk in just trying it out? So I ordered some and hello. And guys, can I just say, I was amazed at how good this stuff actually works. So here's the ingredients label. I'm not gonna go through each and every one of them because that would make this video really, really long. And I really don't wanna over like, you know, clog you down with too much information. Remember the electricity thing, wise man. And the second one I ordered was this one right here. So that's Neuro Peak. Uh, which is basically very similar to the exact same ingredients here. Uh, it's just a little bit more expensive and there's just a higher dosage. So uh, the only major difference really is the B12 added in there, which is a great vitamin for energy nonetheless. So what was my experience actually like? Well, let me tell you. The first day that I took one of those suckers, at least the lower dosage one, I was just, woo! I was so impressed at how, oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. I was ridiculously impressed at how like powerful this stuff was. I mean, <laughs> the first night I couldn't even sleep. You can ask everybody that follows me on Snapchat. I was wired, ready to go. And I knocked out so much work. I mean, I probably sat down and worked for at least 10 hours straight. And I still ate, I still did other things, but man, I grinded. I grinded and grinded and grinded. Now this was the first day. I mean, this was more powerful than Adderall. This was more powerful than uh, like anything I've ever taken before. It was, it was, inc it was really incredible. I mean, it, it was really, really powerful. And the thing is, is you don't really feel it. Like, let's say if you take Adderall, you can feel when you're like, like get a little messed up on it. You're like overly wired. You're talkative. You're like, blah, 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 blah. you also lose like your sense of appetite and all these other things. So Adderall garbage compared to like this kind of stuff like this. First off, it's good for you. It doesn't damage your liver as much as everything else does. Can I close these? The first time I took it, I mean, the changes were, I mean, very noticeable. It was very noticeable to see how my energy levels had improved, my mental clarity had, had improved, and just my ability to focus and get things done. There, there's no question that I was very helpful, and I had tons and tons and tons of energy. So that's, that was day one. But now here's the catch. Like anything else, caffeine, other drugs, other chemicals, you build up a tolerance. So that was the big thing that, you know, you just gotta realize, and that, that is with every single substance or supplement that you take, is that there's gonna be that initial peak and then there's gonna be a steady drop and you have to bump up the dosage if you want to get back to that peak. But it doesn't mean that you can't sustain like a, a good quality performance booster by just keeping that same dosage. It won't be as high as the first day like what I experienced, but I still took it consistently and I still saw it uh, I still saw improvements in my mental clarity, my focus uh, for those days. But then I was like, well, what if I just stop taking it for like a week and see what happens? Sure enough, I stopped taking it for a week and I take one more pill and all of a sudden it just boom, 
and it snapped me right back into gear and again I was up until like 3 in the morning I mean you get like super wired so do be careful of that try not to take caffeine on it too because I did try that once and that was like mm -hmm. thoughts and ideas are <laughs> And the same thing goes with that other one that I mentioned, the Neuro Peak one. That one, you take it when you've got like a big day ahead of you. You've got a lot of stuff that you need to do. Take that sucker, and that other thing will get you going. So, like I said, uh, it, it really depends upon when you use it and how long you've been using it. But I have talked to other friends about it who have used it, seeing similar results. Uh, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Like, thank you, science. Thank you doctors, thank you people who built it and made it affordable for the average person. So like, I'm, I'm so happy that now I can take those instead of my daily cup of coffee and I receive fantastic benefits, it's healthier. And uh, I'll let you do your own research on it. So I will put two big videos in the description below talking about neurotropics, how they affect the brain um from people that are probably more qualified to talk about it than me at least on a scientific level uh, as well as a subreddit uh which basically is dedicated to all sorts of content around neurotropics like i said there's just so many out there but i just wanted to find something affordable that works that's good that is electricity electricity i just want it to work i want it to have a benefit for me um and uh yeah i got that so i was very impressed like I said, I'll put all the links to it in the description below. So if you want these suckers, look no further. Feel free to check out the links in my description below. Bing! But is it like the Limitless thing where you're like super awesomely like fantastic and you can make lots of money? Take it easy, fam. But it does work and it is well worth the money. It's not an $800 pill like NZT48 and it's also not gonna kill you because you took too much of it. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys who were at least interested in taking smart drugs, knowing a little bit more about them. If you didn't even know they existed, well, you're welcome. And uh, try them out. Let me know what you think. Of course, do your research, ask your doctor, as every single person will tell you. Do research, ask your doctor. Even though most doctors really don't even know what they're talking about. It's kind of crazy. They're not neuroscientists. They don't really know how the brain works. They focus more on stuff like strep throat and sprained ankles. And uh, do me a favor if you do like do this you know what I'm saying you know subscribe oh yeah and do me a solid and uh, make sure you smack of the like about <laughs> uh, if you're a little scared of my excitement and passion I'm sorry I'm really excited oh yeah and for those who are following me like check it out I was live on TV uh, yeah look at me having a conversation all right yeah everyone's having a good time nod my head and smile look good for the camera thank you so much for being here on my channel and I will see you on the next one okay bye And my name is Mark Hancock. I like to research things. I like to do things. I like to, you know, be things. Banana.